righty, here are some of my fluorescent minerals from the Sterling Hill night dig last year. It's actually, the annual dig is actually tonight, but I couldn't make it. But I broke out my past ones from 2018. And we'll take a look at them. And uh, we'll put it under short wave right now. Here they are under short wave. And these are, I believe, calcite and willamite. I think the calcite is orange and the willamite is green. And I'll get to my Palmerton stuff that I collected last week as well. I still haven't gotten my good shortwave light. This is the light I bought at the dig last year, the Sterling Hill dig. But I'm getting a much better one within a week or two. Okay. That was short wave. And now we'll do long wave. And this is a convoy light. It's pretty pretty standard for mineral collectors. This is the affordable light. It's only like 40 bucks. But we'll put it under long wave. And they look similar, but not quite. They're a little bit more colorful, actually, under long wave. Which surprised me. In my past videos, I had a really janky light. It was like a $10, $10 uh, LED black light that I use. It works for collecting, but it throws out a lot of purple. I mean, some look better under long wave, like these guys look better under or short wave. But I like the way these guys look under long. Gorgeous. Alrighty. That's the Sterling Hill stuff. Now let's go to the Palmerton stuff. Well, actually, there's more Sterling Hill stuff in here. These are long. This is long wave. I won't go picking through the bucket, but let's look at it on the short wave real quick, too. Sorry about the blinky headlamp. And here's the Palmerton stuff that I got collecting last week. I have a video of it collecting it. But with my inferior light. We'll see how these look under long wave. one 
Here's some more. These are all from Palmerton in the zinc smelter locality. That was my big one that I got that I really liked. Took me a while to get it out. And here is the rock that's propping up my stairs because my stairs sort of collapsed. <laughs> so this rock is actually propping them up. Got some yellows, some blues, some greens. It's huge. And that's been propping up my stairs for a few months. <laughs> There's some more. From that first night when I was in that, I don't know if you'd call it a pocket, but... And then we'll go outside and check out some more long wave. These are all from Palmerton. Tons of it. And there's more up here. big ones. These probably fluoresce under short wave. But that's what they look like in white light. go grab the shortwave light and look at the <coughs> these Palmerton ones under shortwave. Oh, I have some nice blues in it. I have so much of this material it's ridiculous. A lot of it is in boxes and bags. I just set these out. This was only a couple bags. And here's the ones that didn't glow under long wave, but they glow real nice under short wave. This stuff is phosphorescent. Here, check this out. That means it retains its glow after you turn the light off. Here, I'll turn the light off now. So 
see. And I don't think the camera even picks it up. These, these retain their glow for like 20 seconds. Like it's still glowing slightly. You know, that I can see, but I don't think the camera picks it up. Anyway, that's kind of cool.